Good Wednesday, everyone. Our weather map today shows high pressure in control of Tennessee. That'll keep us mostly sunny and dry, but strong to severe thunderstorms threaten portions of northern Indiana, northern Ohio, and Michigan. Some pretty significant severe weather possible up there today. Another area of strong to severe thunderstorms threatens portions of western Nebraska and northwest Kansas. Our five-day forecast shows sunshine Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You may see a few more clouds on Saturday. But uh, it looks like we're going to stay dry through that time period. By Saturday night into Sunday, we may be talking about a chance for some thunderstorms. It doesn't look like everyone will see them at this point. I'll keep an eye on that. Rain chance is about 30% right now. But man, those daytime highs around 90. Overnight lows around 70. So not getting much relief at night either. Please be safe in that heat, especially if you're out and about in the afternoon. In early evening, make sure you stay hydrated with water and make sure you take plenty of breaks in the shade. On this day in 1952, one of the most notorious heat wave assaults hits Nashville. <clears throat> the four consecutive daily record high temperatures. Today, the mercury rose to 103. The air mass was unusually dry with a 40 degree range. So you had the pleasant morning lows of 63, but then the afternoon highs of 103. <laughs> so quite a range, a very desert-like. You know, normally in the south when we're hot, we're also humid. So we don't get that, like this week, we're 90 and 70 for highs and lows. But uh, if you've like, got that dry desert-like air mass, you can have some really hot afternoon highs and then some really cool overnight lows. And then 1971, Apollo 15 launched with astronauts David Scott, Alfred Warden, and James Irwin. And they were the one of the first ones to put the uh, uh, lunar rover on the moon so uh, that they kind of rode around in a lunar vehicle. And that's what we've been building this week in space camp. So um, I thought that was appropriate. Yesterday was the anniversary of naming the Apollo mission. Today's the anniversary of building, taking that first lunar vehicle up there that we're building this week in space camp. <laughs> so I uh, couldn't have timed that better. Um, but today's space camp wraps up. Yesterday was an absolute blast, no pun intended. But uh, we really did have a great time learning and uh, and uh, all kinds of good stuff. It, it was it was great. So uh, looking forward to today's today's camp. You folks have a wonderful Wednesday and keep looking up. For more weather information, just read along in the blog, meteorologistmark.com.